Hello, dears. Welcome to Beauty by Heart. I'm Lily, also known as Lulu. Today, I'll be sharing with you dears all about my eyeshadow palettes tag round two. I did the first tag in 2020 and now this is the second round. <laughs> this tag was created by Samantha March in collaboration with Eddie Glines. I will link their videos in my description box below just in case you dears want to refer to them. If you are new to my channel, hello and welcome. If you happen to like this video, please consider to subscribe. And for all of my audience who are watching this video right now, thank you so much for watching. It is my blessing to have you dears here. And now, let's get started. <laughs> Number one, what is your all-time favorite eyeshadow palette? Will be this. Colourpop give it to me straight. What else? I love the romantic color stories over here. Rosy, nude, mauve tones is my nude color story. Colors over here is practical. They can be used for creating daily look. And it is versatile to create a natural, romantic and deeper looks. Unfortunately, this is discontinued. I have this palette for several years and now I find that the formula gets harder. Question number 2. What is your new favourite palette? This Silky Girl Full Bloom Eyeshadow Quartz. It comes with 4 colours which is number 1, Dazzling Lily, colour over here. Number 2, this is Poppy Haze. This is number 3, Lavender Bloom and this is my most favorite color stories of these four quartz over here because this is very romantic. And lastly, number four, this is Peony Flush. I love the formula for this quartz. Love it mainly because Silky Girl far exceeds my expectation and they are affordable. I just did a thorough review of these four quartz, so if you'd like to refer to more information, please go to my previous videos. I will link it over here on the iCard and also in the description box below. Question number 3. What is the palette you keep for memories? Hmm, actually now I don't have any that I keep for memory purpose. I just did a major decluttering. I decluttered I think more than 100 over palettes. I threw away 34 palettes because they are so old, they got moldy, their quality got bad. I used to have a Shiseido eyeshadow trail that I kept for over 20 years. I've mentioned this in my first tag video. Which is this. I don't know you guys have heard of before. This is from Shiseido and this is the purple color. But because it is so old, I just throw it away. I kept it for so long because this trio was one of my first few expensive eyeshadow palettes bought. I just graduated back then and had my first job. And that day I was shopping with my best friend and this kind of memory stuck in my mind and that's why I kept the palette for so long but because it is really too old, it becomes moldy, the quality has already spoiled so that's why I throw away anyways, as I mentioned recently in my chit chat with me, getting ready with me videos last December, I have a sudden strong urge to declutter a lot of things in my house and I've also read the Mary Kondo's book those items that has deep sentimental value to us, if we are not using them, we can actually throw them away because that item has already become part of us. And furthermore, it is really not safe to use. Question number 4. What is your underrated eyeshadow palette? Hmm, actually no specific palette. I would rather say that it's a brand. And I mentioned this many times in my video. And I also mentioned it recently. And that will be Makeup Rising Phoenix as a brand. I will just use their latest palette as a reference. This is their Resist, Deceased, and Vanquish eyeshadow palette. I dare not hold it upright because the previous time that I hold it and share with you, dears, two of the eyeshadow colors drop off. <sighs> so, yeah, let me just tilt it a bit, and hopefully, you guys can still see the color story of this palette. So over here, I will just show you the swatching of one of this palette which is the one I mentioned just now, Resist, Disease, Vanquish. This is an all shimmery, sparkly formula eyeshadow palette and Makeup Rising Phoenix has a few all shimmery eyeshadow palettes. I simply love the shimmery, sparkly formula 
They are so lovely. As I always say, can't you see how shining they are? It is so smooth, easy to blend. It is buttery and creamy, and it is highly pigmented. Their latest matte formula doesn't swatch well on the hands, but they are performing very well on the eyes. Easy to blend out and it's pigmented. I love how much effort that Makeup with Rising Phoenix put when they are designing a new palette. This palette, for example, again the Resist Disease Fair Krish, this is their last year Halloween eyeshadow palette. All of these 12 colors over here has a unique ghost stories behind them. Unique in terms of these are the stories that they either Encounter before, actually I don't think they encountered before but hearsay from their friends, families or it's a famous tales in Singapore. There are also two colours over here that doesn't happen in Singapore but Malaysia and Hong Kong which I already shared of the story in my previous review video of this palette and again I will link the videos in the description box below as well as on the iCard. Overall, they have fabulous formula their pricing is reasonable as an indie brand. This is a Singapore indie brand in the market for coming 12 years already. They are vegan, they are cruelty free, gluten free, paraben free. And they have very good service and I really hope that they can deserve more love. Question 5. Which is not your favourite palette but can't get rid of? Actually, not just one palette, I fall over here. <laughs> if you just watch me for a long, long time, you will know. Firstly, will be the Natasha Denona Love palette, which is over here. And again, from Natasha Denona Sunrise palette, this is the very first eyeshadow palette I bought from Natasha Denona. And this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Top Instant Eye palette. And Lastly, will be Viset Twist Palette. Actually, not just this palette. I don't really find that Viset Eyeshadow Formula wows me. Out of these four palettes, three of them fade within two hours, which are the two Natasha Denona Palette and Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Top Instant Eye Palette. I mentioned a number of times as well. <laughs> I also did the review of them and was very sad because they are expensive and I have high hopes with them. As I mentioned for the last palette which is the Viset Trees, I wasn't really not impressed by this palette formula but wasn't really wowed by Viset formula overall especially for the shimmers. So why do I still keep them even though I find that their formula isn't really that good or they fit within 2 hours? That's basically these are pricey. And because they are so pricey, I have higher expectation on them. And I still keep them right now because mainly for reference purpose. Uh -oh. Question number 6. What is your favourite colour palette? This Colourpop She Palette in collaboration with Karuchi. Can you just guess why I love this? Because of the romantic pins over here. I love all the shimmery pins over here, especially the first row. Unfortunately, this palette is discontinued. And this, as you can see, the last row, which is all matte. Two matte colors from this palette has got moldy. <laughs> Actually, I have a few favorite collab palettes, but I didn't mention them because either the company has collapsed or the company actually bully the influencer, so I don't want to mention it even though I love the colour story. The colour story was definitely created by the influencer. I also like Catherine Lights collaborating with the Colourpop The Dream Strip palette, but it's just that I prefer pinks. I prefer romantic colours, that's why I mentioned She palette. Question 7. Which is your 2021 favourite eyeshadow palette? Hmm, actually I don't have just one from 2021. I have a few over here and basically let me keep it to the palettes I got from 2021 itself. There is also one eyeshadow palette which I forgot when I bought it. <laughs> let me start off with this one first. This is Oriental Recipe from Makeup Rising Phoenix. I also did a detailed review about this. Actually I did a lot of reviews about the palettes over here. <laughs> This is their spring eyeshadow palette. Again, all these colors comes with a story. 
Makeup Rising Phoenix is a Singapore brand and Singapore is a multi-racial country. We have mainly the Malays, Indians, Eurasians and Chinese. So Makeup Rising Phoenix wanted to feature the different race legends and histories to come out with the palette. And this oriental recipe features about the Chinese legends, stories and also history. I especially love this shade, <laughs> pink again. This is Chang Er. It has a very lovely sparkly formula. Next is from Eska. This is an Indonesian brand. It's also cruelty free. This is the Peach Goddess palette. I was recommended by one of my YouTube friends, Nothing from Unpretty Vanity channel. I mentioned this a number of times already. She recommended Eska to me because I want to explore more Southeast Asia brand and I wanted them to be all cruelty free. So she is so detailed, kind and very patient with me. She gave me one whole list of recommended Indonesian brand and she specially mentioned Eska. Asked me not to miss out the Eska eyeshadow palette and I was so wowed by this. I really love their glittery shades over here and here. It exceeds my expectation. And Hamish, I also like Hamish Glitter eyeshadow palette. This is a K-Beauty. It was gifted to me by Savannah. I like K-Beauty's eyeshadow formula because for this, they are very sheer. I like the very light eye makeup look kind and it has glitters and they have not only pressed glitter but shimmery with glitter formulas. So overall, I like glittery looks. I like a sheer wash of colors look. And also, I, this is the palette I mentioned that I forgot when I bought it. This is Too Faced Bond This Way, the Natural Nudes. Love the pretty natural look. I've been using these palettes for quite some time last year. Actually, before I was doing YouTube, I already loved those very sparkly, neutral, natural look. But when I started to do YouTube, I explore more into colorful looks. And I think after a while, I am still preferring the kind of natural sparkly look especially since the pandemic starts and where we have to wear mask. So for now, I will just stick to my natural sparkly look. Question 8. Which is the palette you didn't expect to love? That will be this Odin's Eyes Freya Divine Palette. This is their very first eyeshadow palette. What else? I love the romantic color stories over here. Have you this already seen it coming? The colors over here are practical. It can be used for a daily look. And this is versatile to create a natural, romantic, sparkly look. And I love these sparkly shimmer colors over here. Again, I've mentioned this palette several times. Unfortunately, this is discontinued already. So as you guys can see, I love romantic colors. I love natural, sparkly look. Question 9. Which palette that sparks you joy? Can you see this coming? Shocking, isn't it? <laughs> this is Little Twin Stars in collaboration with Sugar Peel, and this is the color story over here. This palette sparks me joy simply because of the packaging. I love Little Twin Stars since I was a kid. I'm not into the colors and the formula, but I seldom use this palette. I just like the packaging, that's all. I didn't state this palette to be my favorite collab palette, that's because I don't like the color stories, I just like the packaging. Question 10. What is your newest palette in your collection? Will be this, Natasha Denona Mini Crush. I just ordered it, so it's on the way here. Question 11. Which is the first palette you used in 2022? This again. <laughs> Makeup Rising Phoenix. This is Reese's Vanquish Eyeshadow Palette. I just published this detail review. I will link it over here in the description box below and on the iCard. So if you dears are interested to find out the stories for individual colors, the color stories, the quality, etc. etc. Please refer to my previous video. I don't want to repeat too much over here. Now, dears, it's your turn to share with me. What is your most favorite current eyeshadow palette? 
please share with me in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you and like to explore more eyeshadow palette. And now dears, here's an inner beauty tip for us to be more beautiful and more wise. Beauty is how you feel inside and it reflects in your eyes. It is not something physical. By Sophia Lauren. Thank you dear so much for watching. If you happen to like this video, please consider to subscribe and click the bell notification button below for my future videos. I like to do makeup products review and also beauty related videos. If this is your cup of tea, please join in my YouTube family. Also dears, if you'd like to connect with me more, please visit me at my Instagram and Facebook platform. The address will be over here on the screen. Over there, I'll be mainly sharing my lifestyle post. And may you dears have a peaceful, blissful and stressful week ahead. See you next time. Bye! And before I go, please check out these two videos over here. Thank you! Thank you.